Okay, uh, continuing on then with our vulnerabilities. Um, and um, hey, just to uh, finish up with the data center, um, in the same way that um, uh, we talked about the uh, the threats and, and uh, issues with regard to logs and, and uh, people attacking your logs so that you didn't know that uh, you were being attacked. Yeah, same thing can happen in the data center uh, that the, the logs should be protected because otherwise, uh, you know, people are going to erase or amend or modify the logs to try and cover their tracks and uh, try and ensure that you don't realize uh, that somebody was there or that makes it harder for them to be found. Um, so, uh, but the, the other aspect of um, the, the data center is what happens um, when we are not doing normal operations when we are um, when we're starting up when we're shutting down when we're uh, when we've been interrupted um, in some way uh, and so we've got our um, system shut down uh, downtime procedures with regard to uh, business continuity and that sort of thing but um, remember that while these things are happening our our normal defenses may not be in place and so again um, this is a, you know a kind of a bastion situation that this is a time when you are particularly vulnerable and so the vulnerability needs to be addressed with additional security. Uh, for example, um, when, uh, when we're interrupted, when we're going to do a shutdown or when we're going to do a startup, make sure that networking and communications is the last thing to be started and the first thing to be shut down. So, that, you know, if somebody's mounting a network attack, um, then, uh, you know, there, there is no network for them to attack. And, um, you know, this, uh, in, you know, I mean, there's, there's various things we can do with technology and that sort of thing, but um, it may also be, you know, when you hit the big red button, uh, the first thing the big red button does is shut off the power to the networking. Um, now again, um, it's going to depend on your situation. If it is important um, that you uh, submit reports, that you um, submit data um, in the event of uh, a problem, uh, and that has to be done by networking, um, then yeah, you know, th this is not uh, something that can be used. But, uh, you know, think about it. Um, you've, you know, again, you've always got to look at your particular situation. Security is never one size fits all. So, uh, we need to, to look at that. We need to look at the IPL, the initial program load. Um, the system boot up. Um, and again um, in uh, you know when you're dealing with a, a you know a mini computer or mainframe computer um, in many types um, it can be a uh, mm, fairly lengthy process and um, involve a number of steps and make sure that you do the steps in the air order that is appropriate most appropriate to uh, your security needs and requirements. Um, making sure that, uh, you know, security utilities get put in place as, as soon as possible. Uh, making sure 
that they are operating before the rest of uh, the process goes on. Um, or, yeah, if we're only concerned about availability, um, we will try and uh, do this as quickly as possible. Uh, so, you know, again, confidentiality is maybe not going to be addressed. Uh, like I said, no one size fits all. You've got to choose your situation, um, uh, know what it is that you need. Um, sometimes uh, people can mess with our, our process. Um, you know, can an attacker force us to do an initial program load without security in some way? Um, the uh, input and output uh, functions uh, are uh, very often separate um, in these kinds of situations. And, and uh, you know, can they be messed with as uh, our system is, is booting up? And uh, can somebody, um, you know, modify uh, how our input and output works to their advantage? Uh, these, you know, this is, this is the not normal operation. This is um, a special consideration. It doesn't necessarily happen very often. But when it happens, you know, we need to make sure, we need to have planned in advance and know that it happens properly for our security needs. Um, now, I, I realize that uh, data centers these days are uh, basically racks of mini computers. Uh, and to a certain extent, um, some of this uh, talk of, of data centers based on um, the older model with, with mainframe computers um, is not... Um, well, I wouldn't say not appropriate, but um, to a certain extent um, is no longer uh, following exactly the same path. But you, you still have the situation, even if it is racks of mini computers where, you know, the, the basic operating system loads and then it starts loading the, um, the virtual machine software. Um, it starts loading the communication software. Um, it starts uh, connecting with the other computers. Um, it starts receiving commands in, in terms of, you know, what uh, operations it is going to undertake as part of a larger computer. Uh, again, make sure uh, that this is done in a way that fits our security needs if you are running this kind of a situation. 